Hi, my name is Sudhir. In this video, I would like to explain MySQL store procedures. What is MySQL store procedure? A store procedure is a collection of SQL statements that are stored in database and it contains business logic. It can accept parameters and you can able to set variables just like other languages. What are the advantages of using store procedures? If you use store procedures, it improves the performance and reduces the traffic between application and database server. For example, if you call any store procedure from application, all statements will be executed automatically because all statements saved in DB site. Instead of that, if you call every statement from application to DB, there will be a chance to add network latency. If number of calls will increase, the performance will be decreased. That's why if you use store procedures, the overall performance will be increased. In this slide, you can see that uh, store procedure syntax. Any PL by SQL block, it should be in between delimiter. Here delimiter is two slashes. You have to define the store procedure. After begin, we must define the variables at starting, just like C language. After that, you can write your if conditions, loops, and exception handling related code just like other languages. Creating, altering and debugging store procedure using MySQL command prompt is very difficult. That is the reason I recommend to use any one of the MySQL graphical user interface tools while developing PL by SQL code. These are the three famous MySQL graphical user interface tools. Using MySQL Workbench, you can create basic store procedures. My favorite tool is Smart Workbench. It is really smart. It has many advanced options. One of the option is creating store procedure with the Kazar query. Using that option, Smart Workbench generate most of the code. You just need to add your business logic in middle. If you would like to speed up your MySQL development 10 times faster, I recommend Smart Workbench. There is a free version. You can download Smart Workbench from www.smartmysql.com website. I will show you how to write store procedure. Two examples. First one is Hello World. Once you connected your database, Smart Workbench display all databases in your left hand side. Wherever you want to write store procedure, select that database. And there is a store box. Right click and there is a create store procedure option. You just give the, some example. Hello. Just say OK. It generates the basic structure. Here I, I just display hello world message for that one select that's all it is completed if you run this one you have to see this message one successful it's completed go to new query tab if you want to execute any store procedure you need to write call and store procedure name if you are using smart workbench just like if you drag it, it will generate that command. Hello world. Now I will show you how to alter the store procedure. Here is the alter store procedure. Now I will pass one person name as an argument and I will say hello world that person name. V underscore name where cat. and here I will display like that contract message hello world and b underscore name this is compiled successful and we will see that now I am passing my name hello world Sudhi yes it is changing if you want to drop it just drop store procedure option you can drop it. In my next example, I will show you how to write store procedures, which is close to some business logic. First case, increase 20% salary for employees who has been working in marketing department from last three years. Second case, increase 10% salary for employees who has been working in other than marketing department from last three years. Rest of the employees just increase 5% salary. I will create a store procedure with cursor. In store procedure, we can write a query and defined as a cursor. The cursor, it contains the result set and it allow us to read each record using loops. I will show you how to do it. First, we need to write a select query. Let me open my tool. 
we need employee basic details his department number is needed height rate is salary these three columns needed and departments we need a department name that's all this result set will get all employees with his department name e using this query once our query is ready then go to store box select next option create store procedures with cursor and i am giving the cursor query as a select query if you this if you see this code smart my skill generated the code after begin it defined one variable it is for exit the loop once it is completed these are the columns in cursor select query employee number hire date salary department name and if it declared the variables usually we need to we must declare variables after begin that store procedures similar like c language after that we already passed that uh, cursor query it declared the cursor this is a query this is one continuous handler this will trigger once that uh, cursor become empty the cursor is opening after op opening this is a loop it will start to loop and this is a condition cursor result set is empty then it will trigger this value will become to 1 and we can leave that loop this is a fetching from each record we are saving that uh, that query records into this variable for every record it will come these variables using these variables we can able to write our logic we can remove this and here our logic is very simple we have every record we have department name is high date is employee number what we have to do is we have to write one some simple if condition if department name equal marketing and employee hire date is less than current minus 3 interval Three years. It will get it will get the three years back date. If this date is greater than high date, means is experienced more than three years. Then we write simple update query update EMP employee set salary equal to salary plus. We need to give twenty percent hike. 20 into salary divided by 100 we will get 20 percent where equal you can write one more condition here we need to write else if marketing i think it is not needed marketing other than marketing department here it is already filtered marketing then rest of the people who are having more than three years they will get 10 percent hike else last condition means other other employees will just give five percent and if that's all here we need to write five percent it become ready yeah it is showing that is a beauty with i think it is interval same thing to exactly locate that where is the syntax error completed and if yes in this example first step is creating select query if you use smart mysql workbench it won't take more than 30 seconds i'll show you like uh, it has many benefits uh, if you drag the table it generated the basic select query if you just put s or select keyword and drag it it will generate the basic select query with column names 
you can just select which columns you needed and rest of the thing rest of the columns you can remove from that uh, from the query next is we need to join department if you drag it the tool itself is generating that join condition we need a department name that's all it won't take more than 30 seconds next part is i'm create store process with cursor once i selected this code it generate 37 lines of code inside of that variable declaration part is there and it declared that uh, cursor and next uh, continuous handler for exiting after cursor completed it is opening the cursor and starting a loop and uh, this is a code for exit that loop once it is done fetching each record and assigning in those columns into variables after that i just wrote these seven lines of code for writing these seven lines of code i don't think it will take more than two minutes even if you have syntax errors the smart mysql workbench can help you to identify exact location you can easily find out root cause of that issue that's why i recommend everyone to start using smart mysql workbench it is really 10 times faster than a mysql workbench it is free you can download from www.smartmysql.com website in my day-to-day -day work environment i usually create 10 to 15 stored procedures. Before starting Smart Workbench, I used to spend more than 8 hours to complete the 8, 10 to 15 stored procedures. After using Smart Workbench, my lifestyle changed. It is just taking 30 minutes. Store procedures have three types of parameters in, out, and in, out parameters. I will explain those parameters with one example. In this example, I, I declared three types of variables in, out in out we need to use in out in out keywords just before variable name in this example i defined three types of parameters first one is in parameter if it is in parameter while calling the store procedure you must pass related value for example you need to give employee number that value can be used inside of a store procedure if you check this simple store procedure uh, i am retrieving a particular employee record using that value next one is out parameter this out parameter while executing the store procedure you no need to send a value but you have to give some session variable name if you see this example that particular employee record salary i am going to assign to this out parameter after executing the store procedure even this variable is valid and it can be used by other objects in out parameter is a combination of in and out i define this variable how many times we call the store procedure it just written that number this is simple logic if it is called one time it will written one it will call two times it will written two we'll see how i'm just assigning the first value this is in parameter we need to give exact number if you see that out parameter i'm just giving session name i'm not passing any value and internal store procedure it will assign some value after that we can see what value it is assigned as per our logic this employee salary will assign to this session variable in, inside of store procedure and it will return that salary and the out parameter initial call is calls is zero once we call it it should be assigned one and we'll let's see that whether, how it is working yes the salary assigned to that out parameter out parameter is showing that uh, that employee salary and uh, we just called only one time it is showing one let's call second time we call store procedure two times it is showing two employee salary it is showing as an out parameter now it is three when an error occurred inside a store procedure it is important to handle it appropriately such as continuing or existing the current code blocks exception and issuing meaningful error message mysql provide an easy way to define handlers that handle from general conditions such as warnings or exception to specific conditions example specific error codes if you see that first example it is a duplicate error code number 1062 if you declare this this one in your store procedure and your store procedure encountered this error number then it displays duplicate key error encountered let's check one example if you see this example uh, it has two variables and 
I declared one handler for duplicate key and I'm just inserting into one table. I'm just trying to insert a record in one table. If you call this one first time, it will insert record. If you call the same thing, duplicate key error encountered and whatever the custom message we have, it, that message it will be displayed here. In this video, I can write SQL queries with simple drag and drop options. Also fixing syntax errors in a fraction of seconds with the help of Smart MySQL's workbench. I recommend you to use this tool for speed up your SQL development more than 10 times. It is free and has many advanced features like query optimization and fixing MySQL production issues. You can download Smart Workbench from www.smartmysql.com website. Also, I provided download link details in below description. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button for getting SQL and MySQL tip video notifications.